I just realized we should have introed you first. Yeah, we just kind of dove in. Do an intro. This is Graham Stefan. He likes money and working. He wakes up at 7 a.m. every day and eats a protein bar. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, honestly. I would love if we had like a subject. We let everyone decide. If you just want to put colors on while talking, that's fine too. Yeah. How about oh, how about fish? You want to you want to paint fish? Yes. Okay, I'm Let's down for do fish. Yeah. All right, Graham. What's stressing you uh, out? You know what's stressing me out. What's stressing you out? Uh, I feel really burnt out right now of YouTube. You know, I went right. off on vacation for the first time in like seven years. Mm -hmm. Went to Croatia. Okay. And took like eight days off. Didn't really post on YouTube. I got ahead, and. Uh, and then when I came back, I don't know, just all of a sudden, I was like... You're burnt out of YouTube. Just kind of, okay, so yeah, I feel what like, do you do then if not YouTube? I don't know, you know, that's, it's been stressing me out because I like really like to be productive all the time. So if I'm not doing something, I just feel miserable. And so I've scaled back posting YouTube videos. I love doing the podcast, though. Mm -hmm. um, but I've scaled back. And so when I'm not like really busy working on something, I just don't feel good. So I, I want to be busy doing something, but it's got to be something I really enjoy. And I have not figured out what the next thing is yet. It's, it's bugging me. My life is just painting. <laughs> really? I find it very therapeutic. Um, but hell, that's probably not your thing. I only know you as money, money man. Is your life a lot of just work? Yeah, but I love, I love work. Like for me, that's what I have so much fun doing. That is. It's what I just like wake up my and. Friend. Yeah. He also loves like working and just working, and I'm like, I like sleeping. Yeah, I like to be productive. Like I love waking up and knowing that What's, I have things to work on. What time day. do you wake up? Let me guess. You seem like the type of person who wakes up at like five a.m. Oh every gosh, day. no. No, and no, then you check no. your stocks. You know, have that. <laughs> Cup of black coffee. I did close. <laughs> I do check my stocks. Yeah. Uh, sometimes black coffee. Uh huh. Uh, no, usually I'm up around seven. Seven's pretty dang early. You think so? Oh yeah, that's super early. All right, sometimes it's eight. <laughs> oh, <that's> so spicy. <laughs> yeah. I'm a cup up and probably only eat like egg whites. I'm just making a bunch of assumptions hey, you're, about you're your. You're very close. Usually it's a protein bar. Oh God. I'm right. Like ideally, I this, for me, I see food besides sushi, but I see food as really just something like to fuel me. You're like so, a robot. Yeah. So what else is your hobby then besides working? It's just working. Uh, I like music. Oh yeah. Yeah. I uh, you music. played that little tiny dinky piano at um ben Ben's Mount, house. Ben's yep. house, which was insane, by the way. Yeah, I like the piano. I played drums. Um, I used to play the tuba. Oh my god. When I was younger. Kind of remind me of Destiny. <laughs> really? He plays piano too. Oh. I, I thought you were about to say he plays the tuba. Oh no, he no plays, one plays the tuba. saxophone. No, yeah, tuba okay. is... I, I don't know anyone who plays the tuba. It's that big giant thing, right? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. What made you play the tuba then? Uh, you know, when I was in sixth grade, I signed up for a music class. Uh -huh. And so, one of the first days were them just showing different instruments. Mm -hmm. And when the tuba came around, I was like, that's the biggest, loudest instrument. I yeah, play very that. obnoxious. It was huge. That's awesome. And I just thought, hey, that's the loudest thing. I want to play that. <laughs> I just realized we should have introed you first. Yeah, we do just you want to do, dove in. do an intro? This is Graham Stefan. He likes money and working. And he wakes up at 7 a.m. every day and eats a protein bar. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. Anything else? <laughs> uh, I love all you can eat sushi. I love aquariums. He loves sushi and aquariums. Love sushi and aquariums. I met him through Michael actually when yeah. they were boxing. Because that's the first time I heard of you back then. He said he was going to box. I so. thought we had met before. Then. I don't. I've heard of you. Like, we've never talked, talked. But that was when I was like, I did some stalking on you, you know? Would you ever go boxing? He was so inspiring that I was like, you know, maybe I should go boxing. But then I saw how much people get beat up and thought, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I said yes to it before I ever having done like a boxing lesson or yes. any. I was like, yeah, how hard could it be? I and can't I, believe you said yes to it too. I can't believe Michael said yes to it, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, you know, I thought, you know, I go to the gym. Uh, yeah, you thought how it was hard like could a, it be? And then fun. I did the first lesson after saying yes. I was like, oh crap, what did I sign up for? It was just... Hard? Yeah. 
way more than I ever expected. I'm glad I did it because now like it, Everything in hindsight is not as scary. <laughs> That's true. Nothing's going to be as scary so, as that. I just kind of thought, hey, if I could do that, I could do you anything. You can do anything. I just think, like, eventually, randomly, I could get hit by a truck mm -hmm. tomorrow and die. Mm. And then, you know, you for think what? think about that? I think about a lot of things. Why? I don't know. It's like just my really? nature. I like, I like, I'm the type of person to lay in bed at night and look at the ceiling and just t think about life. Mm. Like my dog dying one day. I tend to think sometimes that like, if it's going to happen, then it's my time. Because if certain things are just outside of my control, like obviously I, I can wear a seat belt. I can choose not to skydive. I could, uh, <laughs> Do you, you know, skydive? Not, no, no, okay. no, but I could choose not to. So okay. it's like all these things, like I could, you know, those are things that I have in my control not to put myself at risk. But sometimes if it's like, if something's completely outside of my control, I can't do anything about it, then I'm like, okay, then, then that's my time. If it's your time, it's your time. Yeah. I agree. Do that's you think there's I think. anything yeah. after? Or? I would love to, I think there is. Really? You yeah. think there's life after I, death? I think, there, I think there, there's gotta be something else. Wow. I don't think we just go into a state of nothing. I just have a hard time believing that's it. I don't know what, what's afterwards, but I have a hard, I just, there's, there's gotta be something more. I believe mm. in that. I'd love to believe in reincarnation. Like you come back and it's like, hey, you could be a dog or like a cat or That'd something be like cute. that. I, I often say I want to be reincarnated as a cat or a dog of a very, very wealthy family <laughs> so I can get pampered and spoiled for the rest of my life and just, Cat probably, because I need to sleep. And if I'm an asshole, that's just a cat thing. What do you think about your job, like a YouTuber? Because um, I tend to worry, and I tend to think it has a bit of a lifespan on it. Like oh, for sure. You know, <laughs> I, I I guess my thing is I always like seeing progress. Mm -hmm. And when something just doesn't become a challenge anymore, and it's something that's like ah, just over it. I don't know. So th I guess that's my that's my biggest struggle right now is career wise. Career. It's a good problem to have. It's a you. very good problem. Very to have, fortunate yeah. <laughs> to be, you know, in a position more so of like, hey, what's what do I want to do? What's fulfilling? Yeah, I started this new series on my channel mm, that what uh, is it? I'm, I'm gonna test. I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Okay. Uh, you know, Mike Rowe and like undercover job uh, or dirty jobs. You ever see that show? Uh, Sounds familiar. All right. Well, me. Mike Rowe is basically the host. And he does these dirty jobs and the reports on like what it's like. Well, I wanted to do like an undercover millionaire sort of thing where I go and do like just interesting jobs mm -hmm. and see how they go. And so the other day I did window cleaning, door to door window cleaning in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. So door to door selling window cleaning packages. Uh huh. Guess how much we made? How in much? One day. Thousand dollars. A thousand dollars a day doing window cleaning. Doing window cleaning? Yeah. It wow. Was wild. So that's I awesome. It. Now the video performed really bad on my channel because <laughs> it's so different than anything else I've ever done. Uh, yeah, I think when you do something completely new, you take the risk. Oh yeah, no, I, t I knew it was not going to do well, but I was hoping the algorithm finds like an audience ah, for it. I see. It's starting to like do a, like a little mini push. Do you ever do some this where yeah. sometimes you post a video, then you change the thumbnail and the title later on? Oh, all the time. Okay, good. Yeah. Have you watched any Spider-Man movie? Um, I have not, no. Oh damn, I'm trying not to t talk about too many topical things, because I don't know when this is gonna come out. Oh okay. god, how backlogged are you? Man, I'm so backlogged. Well, see all these paintings? Well, I have like almost six episodes or something, but I only have at least two. Seven of us? I don't know. You're like the seventh or eighth. Oh, well. You don't know when this is gonna come out. It could be like maybe maybe I should just record pre-recordings. Like Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that late. But funny. We <laughs> could say every holiday, and then that way. It'll Happy be Halloween. Holiday. Who's been your favorite guest so far? Uh, one of my favorites was actually the first one I did, Ludwig. Oh yeah. He was a great oh, conversationalist. Cool. He is so good. He's very charismatic and it pisses me off. Cause like we're friends, but every time I see him, he's like, God, the dude is so charismatic and he knows how to use that charisma. <sighs> some people like, just have it. Some though, people just have just, that, like, right? Just yeah. Just talk about anything and be like- Very and, and interesting about it. You know what the thing is people can, he captures people's attention. Mm -hmm. He knows like the right inflections and the right ways to say things just to keep you on the edge of your seat. Like, What's he gonna say next? Mm -hmm. He can make anything sound interesting. Yes. he's. Super, super good at. I mean, he's just a good content creator in general. Yeah. Like he knows what he's doing. He, 
constantly be, you know, I don't want to praise him anymore. I don't want him to watch this and be like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like all the people have different charms to them, you know? Yeah. Like the way they talk, it's very different. It goes to show you though, that like anybody I feel like can be successful. Yes. At YouTube or doing any of these things. You don't have to be necessarily like someone else. No, I think there's a thing for everyone. Oh, of totally. course, there's things that are conventional, you know, more successful, but yeah. you know, you can do whatever. <laughs> I literally got popular because of my voice. Like so random, but I rolled with it. Do you like your voice? I use it professionally now, so yeah, I love it. Cool. <laughs> Usually you hear in stories like that, you'll hear people say, oh, I hate my voice, but then it's like, but then it turns into such a gift and like people love it. Yeah, you know? I used to, I also used to feel kind of self-conscious. Yeah. But then I learned, it doesn't matter. You know, I used to hate my name growing up. Graham? Yeah, I hate it because everyone called me Graham Cracker. Okay, I was gonna make that yeah. like, joke earlier, I'm really glad I didn't now. No, no, now I'm fine. Now I, I grew a thick skin. But like oh, as a okay. Kid, I even had a substitute teacher once called me Graham Cracker and it broke me. Oh. I must have been like first grade. Oh, that's kind of cute though. I was <laughs> so embarrassed. I'm sorry to hear that Graham Cracker. Yeah, I'm having trouble drawing fish. You and me both. <laughs> See, you could sell these and just donate it to charity. Like, that's like what a, I, yeah. Like an animal shelter or yeah. something. Because then it goes to a good cause. I agree. That's I don't yeah. feel bad doing that if I can donate it to some charity. So, on the topic of money, are you are you saving money? Oh, wow. Like Ooh, we're save? really going to. Yeah. So, the thing with me and money is like, I'm very bad at it. Why? Why are you bad? Mm, I don't like looking at numbers. I remember talking with uh, Michael about money. Cause I was curious where his finances were too. Yeah. Cause he doesn't seem like he cares. No, <laughs> right? not at all. Right? Yeah, you two together. This is like not caring. Not at a good all. thing, no. I think. No, oh we gosh. both don't care. But we're happy, so he's happy. And you know, like I said, remember, yeah. we could get hit by a truck tomorrow. This is true. <laughs> but you know who we had on the podcast? Uh, you would appreciate this. The voice of Tommy Pickles. Oh! E.G. Daily. Tommy Pickles, wow. How'd you get that? How was uh, that? I, oh, she's amazing. I just sent her a DM on Instagram. Oh shit. Yeah, man. I was like, hey, listen, Is huge that fan. Easy? Trying to like keep, yeah, keep my cool here. Really love your work. Any chance you'd be free. And she got back to the yes. Wow, that's I awesome. I was blown away. She was so nice. That is awesome. I want Michael one day to voice like something like that. Like a original animation cartoon. Yeah. That would be awesome. I think that would be cool. I could see him doing that. I hope. <laughs> I've always wanted to do voiceover work. Voiceover work yeah. is so fun. It's literally, it's just acting, you know, with your yeah. voice. I always say it's very competitive. Yeah. Yeah, you are competing with a lot of people who want to have the same idea, who want to do the same thing, who aren't getting paid that much either. So, oh God, I... This is rough. It's, a, it's, a, it's abstract. I'm gonna think of it that way. It is abstract. And you can get away with anything if it's abstract. Yeah. How do you know if you're done or not? Um, listen to your heart and your paintbrush. I'm excited to see your uh, goldfish. Okay, I'm done. I think this is as, well, oh, it's a pretty canvas. Look at that, I did not make a mess. You did it. I didn't get anything. I did, but I consider huh. part of like my sure. thing. All right, are you ready to reveal? I am ready. You ready? Okay, who wants to go first? I want to go first. All right, let me see yours. Oh! Wow, well, actually, it is. I like it. Really? Wait. Do you actually? I like your textured um, fish the decoration. Yeah, yeah, so I tried to do coral at the bottom. Wow, and you did some algae. Little... I did a starfish and then a starfish here with a smiley face. Uh, four this fish. is really good, wow. Yeah. This was supposed to be waves at the top uh -huh. and then birds. And birds. Uh, for a uh, I sunset. really like your ocean decoration. You do. Yeah. Thank you. I was worried it's like it was textured and too everything. busy down here. No, but it's great. Cool. For your first time, this yeah, is awesome. Time. Thank you. Very good. All right, let's see yours. Okay, it's abstract. Whoa. <laughs> I like it. It just it needs an eye, an eye and a mouth. And see, I was gills. thinking about putting like a big little <laughs> eyeball here. Yeah. Should I put an eye? 
You know what would be funny? Get a big googly eye. I was gonna actually do that. That's what you should do. That. That. Yeah, do that. that. Right. One googly eye. One googly eye. No, I was talking about the like the the one you stick on. Like an actual one. Yeah, oh, like an actual put... one. Oh, that'd be such a good idea. If Get we had one, one googly, like the giant one, That's and just idea. slap it on. That's what I would do. I like it. Wow, yeah. awesome. All right, well, awesome. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for coming and trying out painting. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll unlock a new. You're never gonna paint again. <laughs> <laughs>